In a world where golf clubs are getting more and more expensive, I have a set that you can get for sub 500 pounds brand new in your specs. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you are new here. And you're gonna definitely want to do that today, guys, because I have two sets of irons I'm giving away from our friends at Cali. I have the Cali 01s and the Cali 01 CB irons today. We are testing the Cali 01 CBs. These look absolutely gorgeous for the price. Very similar to any kind of cavity back irons that you will see how do they perform today we're going to put them to the test out here on the golf course and we're also going to talk numbers for these clubs here in the golf sun simulator for ball speed distance spin rate and everything you want to see see if these could potentially be the best budget irons you can buy only online to help you improve your golf game so make sure you stay tuned for the numbers but guys to be in the chance of winning all you have to do subscribe to this channel throw a like on the video and go and check out the guys at cali on instagram that is where the draw will be made also to get in the comment section and let me know what handicap are you and do you think these irons would suit your game if not guys make sure you stay tuned this week we have a couple of more sets of irons that we are going to be giving away but today we're talking cbs because i think these are irons that a lot of people might think, oh, these look like blades. These definitely won't suit my game. Maybe I'm not good enough for these. But the big point about them is that perimeter weight in here, that cavity back, which CB does traditionally stand for. This allows you to kind of miss the center of the face a little bit more often, still maintain that ball speed, still maintain a measure of spin and angle. So then you can keep control of that golf ball at all times. That's generally what we do want. You'll see that when we jump in the golf sun simulator, but we're gonna test these first of all on a par three, guys. I've got full sets of these irons to both test and give away to you. And I want to talk components in a minute as well, because that is a huge factor on why I think these are excellent value. I mean, to kick things off, how's a hole in one? That is on it. Sit, sit. I've absolutely caressed that into the flag that felt gorgeous it's actually gone a touch long but if you look at where i've struck that out of guys that felt very very good one of the things that i really do want to test with golf clubs like this that are a little bit more budget probably half the price of your titleist tailor-made callaway mizuno how do they feel because it's okay them performing okay for me they have to feel good a lot of people in comments of my videos say james i don't care how they feel i don't care how they sound i don't care how they look they have to perform and that's okay that's your opinion for me they have to feel good now, components-wise, these actually come with lambkin grips on. You can get these in oversize. You can get them in your different lambkin grips if you do order them. They also come with KBS shafts as standard. So this is a high-quality component. This is a high-quality component. The only thing really left to test is the club head. How does it look? So for me, these look pretty good. I've got nice turf interaction on that shot there, which kind of shows that the buffering off of the leading edge does help there just to get a nice little bit of turf interaction. For me, they're probably a little bit boxy. Like, so if I'm looking at an iron that I do want, this is a little bit of constructive criticism. They're a little bit kind of high in the heel here and they're a little bit kind of boxy on the way around. Very similar looking actually to the Tacoma irons. For me, the Tacomas look a tiny bit better, a little bit more kind of chamfered edges and things like that, rounded finishes. Again, that's subjective, that's my opinion. Can we take a bit off this? I'm actually really pleased that first shot has gone long because first of all, it shows these are absolute brutes if you want them to be. But now I can test, can I take a little bit off this, get a bit of control and hit it closer to that flag? Oh, I pulled that one. That's pilot error, unfortunately, and that is something that you are going to... That has gone a long way left, Chris, hasn't it? That is what you are going to get. Luckily enough, we do have another ball on standby here. Let's see if we can hit a slightly better one. Try and keep this down. It's quite a windy day. There we go. Go on, chase up. Chase up. It's trying. Right, that one's managed to finish in the middle of the green. You can see just how low I managed to get that ball fly. That's something which for me, I do really want to test with clubs like this. How versatile can they be? If I do want to be a little bit kind of picky as well, that top line is just a little bit thick. So if you do see that, the top line probably a couple of millimetres thick for me, but then that might be quite comforting to a lot of mid to high handicap golfers if you do want these in the bag. Right, let's go and test the long iron, let's go and test the short iron, and let's go and test how these clubs perform on the Golf One Simulator. Right guys, we'll kick things off numbers wise with the pitching wedge. Love the look of this, nice and square. If anything, could be a bit too square. What about numbers? For this pitching wedge, I've struck that really nicely. That should, we're about 135 for a flag here. 131 carry, yes please. 
Spinning at 7,000, not bad spin numbers at all. I pulled that a little bit as well, so that will have had a little bit less spin on it, potentially. Go on then, I've shanked that. I've shanked that onto the green. Wow. This is the one we want to see. Nice strike, 130. 131 carry, spinning at seven and a half. Yes, please. When you strike these, they do feel very, very good, I must admit. Oh, long. Okay, time for the seven iron. As you can see here, more of a prominent cavity back in the back of this iron and a little bit of a kind of weight shift there in the back. Not a lot of technology, but realistically, technology isn't what people are here for, is it? This does look like a nicer club head than the wedge, I must admit. I forgot to move it back. <laughs> that's in the, uh, I mean, it's a good strike. That's carrying 261, that is in the garden furniture. 263 carry, 6,000 spin. Right, we're now at 165, which is around my 79 numbers. This shouldn't be too dissimilar. Bottomy strike, that's gonna do well to get there, but, but it's there, it's long, it's long. Nailed it, absolutely ripped that one. This is gonna be long. Right, so the seven iron there worked quite nicely, even though there was, um, we'll call that a miss hit or a miscue. I've now got the four iron. Look how good this looks, by the way. The four iron actually starts to look a bit better. It starts to look a little bit kind of less boxy in the club head. And I really, really like this. I also like that kind of, little kind of milling in the back there. For me, it just gives it a little bit more of an air of expense, a little bit more of an air of premiumness, if that's, is that a word? Anyway, it looks a little bit more expensive because it has got that in there. They don't need to do that. The, that is just kind of a jewelry effect. You can also see in the top there, there's a little bit of a kind of cavity there. So you can see, again, we're trying to wrap that cavity around. We're trying to wrap that cavity around. We're trying to enhance MOI here. Can I play a low one and a high one? For me with a long iron, that's all I'm bothered about really. Can I play it down? Can I play it up? I think personally, this is one of the better looking long irons I have seen this year. And that speaks volumes. Guys, these are, by the way, 549. It is the 01s that are 449. So apologies, I said the sub 500 in the start of the video. I didn't get that wrong, but I'll address it now. Not a lot of offset on here as well. So that felt gorgeous. It really did. I've absolutely pummeled the club into the turf there. A lovely low fade bundling down the fairway. And again, I managed to get nice turf interaction here. I've not kind of dug the club into the ground. I've not picked it off the deck. So again, just look at that kind of chamfered leading edge. That's something for me, which again, the companies don't have to do. They don't have to spend the R&D on that. They don't have to spend a little bit more in design on that. They could leave that sharper, but that's going to massively affect how the club gets through the turf. Now it's what a nice high one off the deck, four iron into the wind. Can it get a similar distance? to that low one. Again, if you're picking that sound up, guys, I really hope you are, because that sounded as good as anything I've hit this year. It's trundled down the fairway again. Let's get down there and see where they are, because to be honest, I didn't expect that to go so well. I didn't expect to enjoy it so much. I didn't expect to be thinking about putting a set of these potentially, well, okay, you know what I'm talking about. Now, unbelievably here, this is the low shot that I hit, and I'm quite happy with that. We've got around kind of 160 yards in around the corner. That's the high shot that we hit. Now, yes, it is summertime at the moment. The fairways are firm and bouncy, so it's massively gonna depend on what kind of bounce you've got. But I hit that low shot incredibly well, and I can't believe that high ones, A, kept up with it, and B, gone past it. I'll throw both the ball flights on screen again for you now. That really is remarkable. Just a nice 207 yards. Towie, is it going to carry it? If that carries it, I'll be very, it has as well, you know. 203 to 204 green, yes please. Spinning at 4,400, so lots of spin on that to say I caught it. Towie, I've absolutely ripped that. That's as good as I've got as the sweat beads down. Launched a lot higher and a lot more landing angle there. It's 204, so it's exactly the same carry with a Towie one as with an absolute nailed one. I really, really like that with a long iron, I like to know I've got the forgiveness and I like to know it's not gonna to go too far if I uh, hit a good one. Look at that, 
really testing that theory out now. That's launched a bit lower. That might be around a 210, 215. 205, again, two yards in it. Two yards in it. I mean, that's done really well just to launch that high. That was a terrible strike. Right, guys, let's talk numbers for all of these Cali irons and see exactly which ones you might think about putting in your bag. So as you can see, pretty good and consistent numbers here from these Cali 01CB irons. Now for me, I think the seven iron is a little bit of a worry. That's a big carry for me and it's not a big kind of lot of control if it is running out that much. It's quite low spin, but I think they feel good, they look good, and for me those performance numbers for the price, I can't really argue with too much. Let's jump back out on the golf course, let's see if we can get this pitching wedge to work for us back on the par three and a potential for a hole in one. Right, let's talk pitching wedge. For me, this is a club that could potentially let this set down. I, I don't like talking bad about clubs, but for me, this doesn't look as nice as maybe some of the other clubs on the market, or even in this set, let's discuss um, that shape. Now, like I said, with the shape of this, it looks okay here. The bag appeal looks really, really good. We've got that nice big cavity in the back again to give it that kind of enhanced MOI. Then you start to look at the kind of this shape and you start to look at the kind of playing angle. And for me, that really, that is a little bit, it's a little bit much. Like if they shampered that off a little bit, I think we'd have a really good looking iron. For me, with the CB range, it has to kind of look players inspired as well as kind of give you that ultimate forgiveness, really. So for me, let's sit down a little bit. You can sort of see that through the 9 iron and the 8 iron as well. Starts to look better in the 7 iron that we tested at the start of this video. But how does it perform? Because ultimately, that's what everyone's here to see. Top line, again, looking a little bit thick for my liking for a kind of premium forged cavity back i mean to be fair that felt glorious though that's fantastic turf interaction that's landed on the green and that i must say it always happens this as soon as i say i don't particularly like the look of something it starts to perform incredibly well and that obviously is the be all and end all when it comes to these clubs isn't it can we hit a couple more close as well guys would you have these in the bag let me know in the comments section below Another nice high fade in there. Again, cutting through the turf nicely. That's another shot on the green. We will clean these grooves because that has got no chance from here. One of the things I would maybe worry about with this is the finish. How long will they last looking brand new? I mean, even really premium expensive golf clubs don't last looking new forever. Will these last okay? That's only something which time will tell. And if you win them, guys, let me know in a couple of months time. But also subscribe to be in with a chance of winning. Come on, one nice swing. It's all over it. Be good. Be good. Be the distance. That sat so well. And again, that's another pretty good shot into this flag, guys. So just because I'm not liking the look of this pitching wedge doesn't necessarily mean it might not be the pitching wedge for me or for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed that, let me know, would you put these in the bag? And apart from that, I'll see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. If you want to see the testing of the more forgiving irons, the zero ones, that's coming up very soon as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, throw a like on this channel. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.